Noel Stradamus strikes again. Yesterday, the FBI raided Donald Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago. And in this case, I truly hate to say, I told you so. This timing was even weirder than you know about <laughs> this. Because I've, I've suggested things like this might happen before, but the timing was really, really weird because I told you so, or more specifically, I told my friend Ali Stuckey so about one hour before the raid took place. Allie and I were here, and Allie was in Nashville. We were filming some stuff. We were discussing whether or not we would bet on Trump winning re-election in 2024. And I said, look, I love the guy. I voted for him twice. If he were the nominee in 2024, I would happily vote for him a third time. I even think most people would vote for him, especially after this terrible administration we've got right now. But I said, I would not bet on Trump winning in 2024. Because, there's just one reason, I am not sure that the powers that be will let him win. Talking about the FBI, the DOJ, the deep state, the crooks who changed all the election rules last time, the big tech cartel, the whole blob. I'm not just talking about Biden or the House Democrats. I'm talking about the whole array of established interests. I just don't know that they will let Trump win whatever the voters want. Okay, when, when we're talking about the liberal establishment, we're talking about groups that have a lot of power, groups that already use that power to rig the election in 2020. I don't see any reason that they wouldn't do it again now that they are even more fully ensconced in power. It's just something about Trump, more so than other Republicans. They just hate this guy. They hate the way that he shakes things up. And I just didn't know if they're going to let him do it. Within an hour of that conversation with Allie, the FBI raided President Trump's home, Mar-a-Lago, reportedly looking for classified documents that he had there. That was, the, that was the presumptive basis for the raid. The FBI, which never raided Hillary Clinton for the 30,000 emails containing classified info that she had on a server at her home. The FBI, which has yet to raid Hunter Biden's home, despite video evidence of him committing national security compromising crimes. That same FBI is now focusing all of its attention on raiding the home of Joe Biden's most prominent and most popular political opponent. Not just a former president, don't forget, the guy who is currently leading in the polls by a long shot for the Republican nomination in 2024, the biggest political threat to Joe Biden. Now, ironically, the raid has a paradoxical effect. On the one hand, it proves my point. It shows that the establishment will do absolutely anything to stop Trump in 2024. On the other hand, it makes Trump's admirers, myself included, even more inclined than perhaps we already were to support him again. Where does that leave us? Does that leave us with Trump 2024? DeSantis 2024? Cruz 2024? Biden 2024? No. It leaves us with a banana republic in 2022 and no end in sight to the corruption. Right now, go to altoira.com slash Michael. Cryptocurrency may represent the money of the future, especially now that the US dollar is basically not worth the paper that it's printed on. Crypto is one of the most exciting investment opportunities to come around for a long time. But what about taxes? Did you know that you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and over 80 other cryptocurrencies in a tax-advantaged IRA? With Alto Crypto IRA, you can avoid or defer the taxes when trading crypto like Bitcoin. Alto offers alternative investment opportunities like private companies, crypto funds, real estate, venture capital, and more. No commissions, no paperwork. You create an account in as little as 10 minutes. You can invest with as little as $10. Through Alto's integration with Coinbase, you get secure trading 24-7, 150 plus available coins on their interface, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. Alto offers industry-leading security, the advanced encryption standard for wallets and private keys, and alternative investment opportunities through some of the world's most recognized platforms and fund partners. Plus, there are multiple ways to fund your account. You can make a cash contribution, transfer from an existing IRA, roll over an old 401k, open an Alto Crypto IRA with as little as 10 bucks. Go to altoira.com slash Michael. That's A-L-T-O-I-R-A.com slash Michael. 
Start investing in cryptocurrency today. AltoIRA.com slash Michael. Absolutely crazy news story. Even though I predicted it, <laughs> even though I said this sort of thing is going to happen because Trump is just different and they hate Trump in a special way and you're going to see all sorts of political stops, you know, absolutely no holes barred. You're going to see uh, illegal actions. You already have seen illegal actions by these same groups, by the FBI, by the DOJ. Even though I predicted it, it doesn't make it less offensive and less shocking that we're, we're now descended into such banana republic level nonsense that you've got the president sicking the federal government, sicking federal law enforcement on his main political opponent. If this happened in in Brazil, forget that. If this happened in Syria, if this happened in Iraq, we would, we would say this is illegitimate. This is ridiculous. What a sham democracy they've got in these sorts of places. And now we're seeing it happen in our own country. Pathetic. What was this about? According to the New York Times, according to the, the paper of record of the liberal establishment, the raid was focused on material that Trump had brought with him to Mar-a-Lago, his private club and residence, after he left the White House. Those boxes contained many pages of classified documents. Oh, he had classified documents in places he shouldn't have had them, like Hillary, like Hillary Clinton on her server, 30,000 emails with classified material, and she just wiped it clean before, before federal law enforcement could find it. Not that, not that federal law enforcement was ever really going to look. Like, kind of like that. By the way, the, the president has the right to declassify whatever he wants. So I, I'm not saying it's, it's right for Trump to take classified material, if that's even what he did. But while he was president, he could have declassified that material. You're telling me the FBI is going to raid the home of a former president and even, even more shocking, future presidential candidate, likely future presidential candidate, over the Presidential Records Act? That's it? I don't think so. New York Times goes on, Trump also faces a criminal investigation from the Justice Department over alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. There we go. Okay, now we're getting a little more real. They're upset because Donald Trump pointed out that the election was rigged. He just pointed it out. They changed all the election rules right before the election, and they made it much more vulnerable to fraud, even by the standard of Barack Obama. And in some cases, they violated the state constitutions in, in different states. Yeah, it was rigged. Duh. Duh. Hello. And he, everyone knows that. The libs even admitted that they rigged the thing. There was a whole big magazine article afterward, how we rigged the election such that it was m more advantageous for Democrats and, and disadvantageous to Republicans. And then when you say right back to them what they just told you, they say, you're not allowed to say that. That's a crazy conspiracy theory. Believe us. Don't believe your own lying eyes. Finally, New York Times says, Prosecutors have also reportedly asked about Trump's alleged attempt to pressure Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the results of the election. So now Trump isn't even allowed to publicly say that he wants the vice president to invoke a kind of measure that we saw, not that is frequently invoked in American history, but which is not unprecedented to object to the certification of certain slates of electors in the election. We, we did see this in the 1870s. And and there was a process that came out of that, which uh, is a process that Senator Cruz and Representative Paul Gosar suggested that we have a kind of presidential election commission afterward to analyze the many irregularities that took place in 2020 when they changed all the rules, in some cases illegally. So all that, what, that now that's the, now, what, so what's the basis for the rate? It's that, or it's the, the fact that he may have had some documents at his home, like Hillary Clinton did, or the fact that he complained about the election. What is it? What is it? As far as I can tell, there are three options here for what this raid is about. There are, th there are only three. Op the, the most shallow option is that this was just routine FBI work. This is just routine DOJ, nothing to do with Biden, nothing to do with stopping Trump from running in, tw in 2024, none of that, right? I think we can dismiss that out of hand. You don't raid the president's home over the stupid Presidential Records Act. Second option here, the, this is an attempt to kill Trump's candidacy in 2024 in the cradle. This is an attempt to wield federal law enforcement to stop Trump from running in 2024 because the Democrats think that he would beat them and they just simply will not allow him to be president again. 
and they can't beat him at the ballot box in a fair and square election, so they're going to just raid his home and try to stop him from running in 2024. Or there's a third possibility. This is the 4D chess possibility, that actually this was an attempt to ensure a Trump candidacy in 2024. That by raiding the home, by targeting Trump, he becomes a martyr. Whatever support other candidates were getting in the Republican Party, now that goes right back to Trump. These Republicans say, we got to double down. If they're going to come after him, he's got to be our nominee. And that in a kind of 4D chess way, that's what the Democrats want because they feel that they can beat him in 2024. Those are the three options. Which do I think is most likely? Number two. I think this I don't think that the Democrats play 4D chess all that well. Sometimes they do. Sometimes, sometimes people in politics play 4D chess. But when you're looking at a situation, especially where there's so many variables where things can spiral out of control, usually the simpler answer is correct. In this case, the idea that it was just routine FBI work, I think, is absurd and not backed up by precedent. The idea that it was 4D chess and they really secretly want to support Trump, or what, I don't really buy that. I think the established, I think, I think that my thesis from the very beginning was correct, and I think it's being proven more correct every day. The libs simply will not tolerate a, a Donald Trump second term, and they will do everything they can, even if it throws the, the nation into a kind of banana republic status, even if it violates the law, even if it violates all of our political norms, they will do anything it takes. They will use any means necessary to stop Trump 2024. I'm so glad you liked that clip. Now, hold up, stop. You got to ring that bell. We've hit 1 million subscribers. That's great. Thrilled about that. We need to hit 1 billion. Okay, we have to. We have to. We have no other choice. So ring that bell, subscribe, get the notifications. We'll see you next time.